What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The yacht in front of us is a 135 foot Baglietto, first delivered in 1999. It's had refits over the years in 2016 and 2021, and this yacht is listed for sale by the FDI Yacht Group. Now guys, this yacht, I'm gonna throw up a picture of its profile. It looks like it's literally from out of this world. This has such a unique design. It's really interesting, and I think you're gonna really enjoy seeing it. It has an aluminum hull, Inside, you can sleep up to 10 in four different staterooms, and it also has space for up to 10 crew. And as you can see, there is no swim platform on this one. You just have the huge garage, and you can see how the transom wall folds up, and you can see into the garage a little bit. We'll head in there from the inside. The length overall is 135 feet. This has a beam of 26 feet and 11 inches, and it has a draft of five feet. So let's go ahead and get started with this really unique Baglietto 135 named Blue Ice. We're gonna slip our shoes off and we have to get on board through this passerelle. Here's another shot into that garage slash beach club area. Now let's step up onto the aft deck. We're gonna quickly put our shoes in the basket. So those are out of the way. Now you can see you have multiple different seating areas on this aft deck and there's a huge overhang as well and this area can also be used for the sun pads and one thing you're going to see especially when you you might have noticed it when we put up the picture of the profile but there are no side decks on this yacht so you do have boarding gates on each side those stairs lead up to that sun deck and then you get nothing the whole length of the yacht All right, we're gonna step inside. You have these really wide doors, which they're opened up all the way right now. Here, you have a day head right off the back of the yacht. Then you have a little bar area with the sink and refrigeration. And this closet is just storage. But let's press forward into the main salon. So the theme of this yacht, you have the really unique top deck with a bunch of different amenities up there. And then you have a bunch of different living spaces on this main deck. And then on the lower deck, you have the cabins. And I know that sounds pretty routine, but you'll see why it's unique in a moment. But let's step inside this area. First of all, look at this. I was gonna say rock feature or mineral feature. All encased in the glass. You have a really good mix of contemporary modern, yet still pretty comfortable design throughout this yacht. Obviously, Baglietto is an Italian builder, so you're gonna have those Italian style elements throughout the whole thing. And this is just a massive, a U-shaped seating area doesn't even give it justice. This is huge. It's three large sofas combined, basically, with the TV up on the wall. You have really nice windows that flank the entire main salon here. And over here you have a little eating area. This is not the formal dining area. And then you have another little seating area right over here. If anyone's interested in the IT systems, I'll point them out whenever I can, but you have your rack in this closet. So we're gonna continue forward. We'll skip this room for a second. Just take a look at this really cool spiral staircase and the glass. You can see that goes up and down. And this of course leads to that upper deck. And now to that room we passed. This is like a little movie theater room or hangout room. So in here you have all of this expansive seating so you can lie down, you can hang out as a huge group of people and watch a movie on your flat screen on the wall. This is an interesting little room. It's a lot more intimate than the main salon area. So if one party wants to watch a movie in here, have the game on out there, you have a little bit of flexibility there. And then let's continue in this direction. You have this really unique feature that wraps around the staircase. 
And over here, this technically could be used as a fifth cabin, but they have it set up as a gym. And behind those doors is just a small closet. And there is a TV built into this mirror right in, I'm not sure if you can make out that line, but right there. Now the yacht is fully crewed, and like I said, they're actively working. So we're gonna try to head into the crew area next, and we'll just see what we can capture. But we don't wanna get in their way too much, so we'll see what we can do. We have another really interesting sort of rock feature. I don't think that's a bench, I'm not 100% sure. Either way, very unique. And then check out the formal dining area. Everyone can sit at this round table. You have the really cool blue accent lighting in the ceiling and that bounces off of the design of the woodwork. Like I said, this yacht from its profile and inside in certain areas, it just looks like it's out of this world. If you're looking for that yacht that's extra special, it's gonna turn heads and it's really unique. This one is probably the one for you. So now we're going to press forward. Here you'll find the laundry room. Now let's try to grab a shot of the galley. All right, so here is the galley. You can see you have a Mila dishwasher and a sink over here a bunch of cold storage along the walls. Looks like the built-in espresso machine. And obviously this is set up for commercial use. You have Gaganel appliances. Those are very expensive, very high-end. And it has the Mila induction cooktop with the exhaust overhead as you'd expect. You have your microwave, another double sink. You have this huge walk-in refrigerator. Obviously you can be extremely well stocked on this one. And then the crew cabins, you'll find them down here. Here's a quick shot of the crew mess. And then we're gonna take a peek at the captain's cabin. his cabin is located right off of the bridge, which we'll see in a second, but it's right here. There we found the light. And then their ensuite is right here. Even the captain has a bidet. So we'll make our way back around through the galley, give you one more shot. The crew has been very accommodating. I appreciate them working with me. And then up here, we will find the bridge. Guys, you might have saw from the picture, but this bridge is so cool looking. It literally pops out like a bubble from the front of the yacht. You can see all of the super yacht controls and staying on brand, you have this really futuristic steering wheel, at least for its time. There are two captain's chairs. And then there is a door that leads up to the really impressive top deck, but we'll get up there another way. Let's give you one more shot of this room. And then those are the stairs that lead down to the captain's cabin, which we just saw. Thank you. So this will lead us back out to that dining room. Waving around back to this main salon. Hopefully you can tell on camera just how expansive this main salon is or the main deck in general because you don't have those side decks 
all of that interior space is reclaimed. And now we're gonna head down to the guest cabins. So those are gonna be down the spiral staircase. So four cabins down here, including the full beam owners, of course. We'll save that for last. You have a really big, I'm noticing a huge landing when you step down here. Because there's just the four cabins, none of the rooms are cramped. You'll see over here in this room, you actually have three different beds. So that's how you get that number of four cabins, sleeping up to 10 guests, because you have the extra bunk in here. It's a very spacious room, great for kids. You have all of the built-in drawers, the TV up on the wall. And of course, it's gonna have an ensuite, toilet and bidet, and then the shower. It's right here and you just have to step through. So I think the head's actually on the other side. So I'll step around. You can see the teak on the floor, I really like that. And then let's step in here. You can see the extra handle. And then there's also two nozzles right here. So pretty cool shower. So that was the fourth cabinet that we just saw. And now forward, I believe these are mirrored or at least extremely similar. We have two more cabins. So I'm gonna claim these as shared VIP cabins. We have a really large bed. You have beautiful woodwork all throughout, I'm noticing. Large TV up on the wall. And then the ensuite is right over here. Same style of sink. And same style of shower. And I really like the teak down on the floor. It's probably my favorite style of drain on these yacht showers. Now we'll head to this other cabin. And actually, this is definitely the VIP cabin and I'll tell you why in a moment, or rather I'll show you why in a moment. You just have a nifty little feature in this one. It's a basically the same size bed, but then the ensuite is a little bit different in this one. And I'm not 100% sure of the reason, but you actually have your closets over here. And then the toilet is in this own little room right here. Which means your sink and shower have to be somewhere else. I thought this was pretty neat. You have a frosted glass door that automatically comes across. And inside here, you have the sink and then the shower right behind this glass door. So that's a little bit different actually. So now we have one more cabin and you know exactly what's coming. This is the owner stateroom. As mentioned before, it's the full beam of the super yacht. You have this massive king bed. So much space to cover. If we just slowly walk over here, huge TV up on the wall. You have a dressing table, all of the storage built in including your closets over here and on the other side. You have a built-in sofa right next to the windows. And then this ensuite also has that automatic door. With the sink right here. This one has a tub and that's nice that it's standalone, basically just a huge soaking tub, not a combo or anything like that. The toilet and bidet are right back here. And then the shower. Just wanted to make sure the light was on. This is really cool. The shower is blacked out. You have a huge rainfall shower.
and you can brighten it up a little bit with the lights up there. So, pretty cool owner suite. Really nice cabins all together. Now we're gonna head back upstairs. Let's go check out the sun deck I've been talking about. Instead of taking the spiral staircase, we're gonna head back outside past this beautiful main salon. And there are four different side decks that have stairs that lead you to the top deck. Basically on each corner of the yacht, you're gonna have a staircase like this. Really quick, before we get up there, let's actually head down, check out this beach club slash garage and the engine rooms while we're down here, just because we can. So you can see they have some freestanding furniture in here. This is the lovely beach club area. And you can see how and where this transom door flips up. And this is also where you can store a tender. You'll see the crane system in the ceiling. And this allows your tender to get in and out of the water. And you also have these really cool terraces. You can see right here on these arms. So this will fold out into the water or at least out of the hull, giving you additional space in this area. And I'll show you what that looks like. There's actually one open on the other side. I don't know about you. This seems like a perfect place for a morning cup of coffee. Put a little chair and table out there right next to the water. And then the engine room is located down here and it's right through this door, but real quick, there is a sink and a shower back here. And let's take a quick peek. There might be a day head. Ooh, it's locked. Maybe it's storage, maybe it's a day head. We'll never know. Let's quickly check out the engine room. You'll see that there's an engineering space right here. It's also a bit loud, so let me show this to you and I'll read the engine specs out in that garage. But look at this massive, or excuse me, both of these massive engines. You can see your generators on each side. And it's actually quieter right here than it was in the entrance. So these engines are MTU 12V 4000s. Your top speed is 28 knots, which is pretty impressive for a yacht of this size. Your cruising speed is 20. At 20 knots, you'll get about 1800 nautical miles of range. Drop it down to 12 knots and you're looking more at 2800 nautical miles of range. So very capable if you want to make some pretty long journeys. All right, guys, one more shot of this beach club. And now we're gonna head up to this garage. <laughs> what am I saying? We're gonna head up to the sun deck or the top deck as some call it and see what I've been raving about. So let's step up here. There's some cushions that are pulled out. Don't worry about those. They're still setting up for the show. But let me start all the way aft. So you have these loungers right here underneath this canopied section. You have some really cool furniture. It looks like carbon fiber sofas with all of the cushions that go along with. And of course, you're gonna need a massive row of sun pads somewhere on the super yacht. And you'll find those right here. You can fit all 10 guests plus some easily up in this area. And just look how expansive this deck is. It basically stretches almost the entire length of the yacht, all just one straight shot on this deck. It's extremely rare to find something like that. 
course you have life rafts stored throughout. Then if we continue forward in the middle here, this is pretty cool. We can step inside and you'll find a couple unique things here. One, you have another day head up here. So that's great that basically on every single level, there's a day head. Looks like a really large shower right here. And one reason you might need a cool shower right here is opposite of this, we have the sauna. And over here, just some extra storage space. There's some hooks here to hang towels up. But yeah, this little pod here, pretty cool. They even have some windows up in the ceiling for that extra natural light. So if we took that spiral staircase up, this is where this leads to. And then on the front side of this pod, as I'm gonna call it, you have another catering area. So you have a sink, ice maker, and refrigeration down here. And these are really cool. The doors just swivel out on each side, exposing the bar area. And you have the same style of doors all throughout. This is just a really unique look. And then forward, we have an alfresco dining area with the teak table. And then remember I mentioned in the bridge, you have the door that leads up here and that is the door right here. And I also mentioned, here, let me turn my back. There's, the wind is starting to pick up, but I also mentioned the bridge almost looks like a bubble popped out of the top. And get, let me give you another shot of that. You definitely have to be careful here because you have no railings from this point on. But I'm gonna take one step down and you'll just see how the windows of the bridge just pop right out of this deck. And then all the way forward, we won't go all the way down, but this is the business end where you have all the kit for your anchors. But yeah, standing up here, I mean, what a tremendous view. We're currently at the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Once again, I apologize if there's a little bit of wind noise. And here, like I mentioned, all four corners have a set of stairs that bring you up to this deck. So yeah, there you have it. Like I said, I thought this was extremely unique. I've never been on a yacht like this before. If you're looking for something that's going to stand out, this one might be perfect for you. Thank you so much to the FGI Yacht Group for granting me access on board. Comment down below if you like this yacht, comment if there was something you particularly loved or something you didn't. Either way, we'll catch you next time.